So here we are again, this time at Station One, coming to you live in the gym from Summit Park, New Mexico. This is the 343 Commitment, and still counting. 110th floor Memorial Stir Climb for our brother, our better, John Santore, off of Manhattan, Greenwich Village, the Phoenix, Ladder 5, housed with Indy 24 and Battalion 2. This climb is dedicated to his wife, Francis, daughters, Marjana and Tiana, his mother and father, Allison Dominic, and his sister, Karen. So this climb is given in honor, respect for the sacrifices that were made so that others could live. Our brother was on the 37th floor of the first tower on 9-11. That's as high as the uh, Ladder 5 crew had gotten. So this is to uh, finish his footsteps. The third to last brother. Tomorrow's climb will also be for Ladder 5. And the last brother of Ladder 5 will be Marcola. So we're almost there for full accountability for Ladder 5. So we're going to kick this off. We have a total of seven verticals. Upon the last vertical, goes to us to the 101st floor. And after the 101st floor, it's only nine more floors to the very top. So here we go. So this is now the third climb of the tour. Now coming down to uh, 48. Brothers, left to carry. This is the 295th climb of the 343 commitment out of the initial 343. For our brother, the most senior man of Ladder 5. 21 years of service to the FDNY. Our brother was 49 years old. Married to his wife, Francis, had two daughters, Marjana and Tiana. And uh, it said that our brother was the type that would volunteer to help anybody. So this is dedicated with honor and respect for the 21 years given to the citizens of New York. Prior to joining the FDNY, our brother worked for Con Edison, and uh, then he got into the FDNY. One of the things I read in the articles was our brother actually had a uh, need for a maritime museum for an artist, John A. Noble. So in 1992, my brother, Santori from Ladder 5 created what was called the Noble Crew. And over time, they basically retrofitted a 22,000 square foot building and put in enough man hour, time, and materials to be able to uh, claim a million dollars of worth into the John A. Noble Maritime Museum there in Snug Harbor in, uh, I believe it's Staten Island, it was where it's located. He was actually awarded several awards for his work on the Maritime Museum. Our brother again, the most senior of Ladder 5. 21 years of service to the citizens of New York. A husband and a father, a son, and our brother. Dedicating this to Manhattan's Greenwich Village, the Phoenix, Ladder 5, housed there within the 24, and Battalion 2. When our brother 
met his wife Francis and asked her to marry him. They have candles and two wine glasses. It turns out after the proposal, our brother asked the waiter to keep the wine glasses. And it said that any time he went traveling with Francis, the wine glasses and those candles would always be with him and be set on that table to uh, keep the romance going between them. It said that he had his three ladies at the house and in order to not have to cook all the time, he would go buy breakfast and uh, just spend time with them. His daughters, Marjana and Tiana. Again, this climb is dedicated to his wife, Francis, his daughters, his mom and dad, Dominic and Alice, and his sister, Karen. Taking our brother up, who was willing to volunteer to help anyone. As I said before, he was the most senior of Ladder 5. 21 years in, 49 years old, on his response to 9-11. Our brothers responded to the worst surge attack on U.S. soil, but were part of the greatest rescue effort in U.S. history, where upwards of 25,000 were saved. Due to the hero, heroism, dollar, and bravery that was displayed. During our brother's 21 year career, he received very several distinctions and uh, merits. This is his 110 floors. The sixth brother of eight from uh, Greenwich Village to take that top. As I said before, this 110 floors is given an honor and respect for the sacrifices made so that others can live. This commitment also follows to the end still counting. Those who work the pile for days, weeks, and months who succumb to 9-11 illness and cancers. Upon completion of the initial 343 climbs, they will start taking their turn. This is the reason we climb, to tell their stories. So we will always remember and never forget, 19 years later, they're not just going to be a picture on a wall or a name on a plaque. They have families. They have brothers and sisters. And they have us to keep their memories alive. This is for the families, the FDNY, and for our country to keep the promise we made 19 years ago going on the 20th anniversary of this coming 9-11, pushing them up, giving them their due honor and respect for those sacrifices made so that this can live. Our brother also had a love for antique cars, and he uh, was said to have been going to uh, retire, I believe it was 2002, and uh, he was going to work on his antique cars as his hobby. But our brother, from the uh, response on 9-11, was approximately the 37th floor of the first tower, bringing up that rescue 
We're up into 25,000. We're saved because of bravery, heroism, and valor that was shown. This is the reason we climb across, not only on this climb, but across the U.S. and across the world to keep their memories alive, to keep our brothers in the forefront. We made a commitment that we will always remember and never forget. And uh, this is the way we do that, to tell their stories, to educate the next generations so we know that they will never be forgotten. Right now, this is his 110 floors, finishing his footsteps from the 37th floor to the top. As our brothers were in the stairwell as part of the rescue effort in the first tower. Dedicating this to Francis, his wife, and his daughters, Marjana and Tiana, his parents, Alice and Dominic, and his sister, Karen. Taking them up one step at a time. We're just, uh, just shy of around the halfway point now in this 110 floors with honor and respect. Our brother was a uh, lifelong member of the NRA, loved to hunt the fish, and uh, loved his family, taking care of his wife and daughters. As I said before, our brother gave in upwards of a million dollars in blood, sweat, and tears to the uh, John A. Noble Maritime Museum at uh, Snug Harbor in Staten Island. Our brother organized the Noble Crew in 1992 as a way of getting the 22,000 square foot building ready for the John A. Noble Maritime Museum which John Noble, from what I read, was an artist. And uh, instead of him just having his paintings and artwork inside his house, it was decided that there needed to be the museum, which our brother, John Santori, was heavily involved in, making it happen. And as I said before, he actually received awards because of the work in the museum and the museum itself received rewards. Awards, sorry. Taking him up. Their oldest brother, most experienced senior man on ladder five, Manhattan's Greenwich Village, the Phoenix. Going up, housed with uh, 1924 and Battalion 2. Taking them all the way to the top. With honor and respect for the sacrifices made on 9 11 and uh, the sacrifices that followed. Those who worked the pile of ground zero, the unsteel counting, for days, weeks, and months. The end still counting. We'll take that journey on completion of the initial 343 climbs. And right now, this is now the 295th brother to be carried vertical. Down to uh, 48. Third climb of this tour. Hoping to get in five for our brothers. The next major milestone is the 12th milestone with the completion of 300 climbs. 
And the three, four, three commitment. And still counting. All right. We are now over the halfway mark. Have three of the last verticals to go. After that last vertical, we'll reach that 100 on first floor. For our brother, John Santori. Pushing him up. Alrighty. For our brother, we loved to hunt and fish. For our brother, we loved antique cars. For our brother, who was the type to volunteer to help anybody out. As I said before, our brother and the Noble Crew founded in 1992. Put enough time and effort, blood, sweat, and tears into the John Noble Maritime Museum that it was accredited to a million dollars of service on that 22,000 square foot building, making it into the uh, John A. Noble Maritime Museum. And right now, this climb is going to the top. Third to last vertical for our brother, John Centauri, firefighter. Senior firefighter on ladder five. The Greenwich Village, Phoenix, out of Manhattan. Now with the engine 24 and battalion two. I've actually been to see the Phoenix, engine 24, battalion two because I went and climbed on behalf of Lieutenant Marcola, who will be the last brother to be carried from Ladder 5, the Phoenix, out of Greenwich Village. Right now, just got uh, two more verticals after this one. Go into that 100 and first floor for his wife, Francis, daughters, Marjana and Tiana. His uh, mom and dad, Alice and Dominic, and his sister, Karen. Any names that may be incorrect, Apologies in advance. Everything is my memory. After reading their stories, I climb up and uh, bring it back out while I'm climbing. As I said previously, prior to joining the FDNY, my brother worked for Con Edison. And then he joined the FDNY. So now we've got two last verticals for this 110th floor memorial climb for our brother right here. Greenwich Village. The Phoenix, Lotter 5. Firefighter Centauri, who was at around the 37th floor in the first tower in the stairwell. Part of the greatest rescue effort in United States history. Where weapons of 25,000 were saved because of the bravery, valor, and heroism. That was shown by our brothers and those who responded.
Coming up on the second to the last vertical. For our brother. John Santori. From Ladder Five, Greenwich Village in Manhattan, the Phoenix. Pounds with it's 24. We're tying two. Second to last. Pushing him up. For his service to the citizens of New York. To his family. To the FDNY. And our country. We will never forget his sacrifice and those in the rescue effort following all of those in the recovery effort. This is why we climb. So their families know that their story is being told. 19 years later, we still tell their stories, keeping their names alive so they will not just be a picture on a wall or a name on a plaque. This is why we climb. Because on 9 11, we made a promise, we made a commitment to never forget that our country is forgetting. Well, we're keeping that promise for the next generation, the following generation. They will know who our brothers were. The FDNY 343. And they'll know who the ants are counting were. Those that worked the pilot ground zero and succumb to 9 11 cancers and illnesses. Never forgotten. Always remembered. This is why we climb. Let me try to get some of this conversation off the inside of the mouse real quick. Pushing him all the way to the very top. Going there with honor and respect for the sacrifices made on and after 9-11-2001. And now we have a little break before that last vertical going to that 101st floor, the sixth time for Ladder five, Grand Trillington's Phoenix. Also on uh, the Bell Club, I noticed that they call Ladder five Stuffy. So this is taking the Phoenix to the top. The sixth of eight times for the Greenwich Village. Taking him up. Finishing his footsteps from that involvement in the rescue on the 37th floor of the stairwell in Tower 1. Taking him all the way to the very top. 
to carry our brother's son, Bellicly, with me right now. Putting in the footwork, but he's going all the way up. Each of the 343 brothers with our stories told. Going there for his wife, Francis, daughters, Marjana, Tiana, for his mom and dad, Allison Dominic, and uh, his sister, Karen. Dedicating this to the FDNY up and on the line. Specifically, Battalion 2, Engine 24, and Greenwich Village is Phoenix, Ladder 5. Never forgotten. Always remembered. For his million dollars worth of sweat equity into making the John A. Noble Maritime Museum a reality starting in 1992 with his noble crew, he will never be forgotten. A lasting memorial to our brother at that museum at Snug Harbor in Staten Island. I believe is where I saw that was at. So now we have nine floors left in this 110th floor. Memorial climb for our brother, senior man, the most senior of the brothers, on letter five, John Centauri. Tomorrow's climb will also be ladder fives. Probably he's taking up Warcola. This is why we climb to finish their footsteps. Given with honor and respect for the sacrifices made so that others could live at the worst terrorist attack on US soil due to the bravery, valor, and heroism. Our brothers rescued upwards of 25,000 souls in the towers. They gave their all so that others could live. And right now, this is his, the 295th brother, to reach the very top. Firefighter John Santori, letter five, rest easy, brother. We got it from here.